Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokender Kumar and today we're going to discuss shapes of different microorganisms. As you can see, I have written names of different microorganisms here. For example, Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus pyogenes, Streptococcus pneumoniae, Enterococcus faecalis, and so on. I wanted to discuss the shapes of uh, these microorganisms. They have a unique structure and unique shape. So it's important to understand the shape of a uh, different microorganism because it's important uh, when you're trying to identify uh, while doing the ground staining. So this will be the most basic information that you need to know about the microorganisms. That what is the shape of these uh, cells and what is the sh basic shape of uh, these microorganisms. So let's start with Staphylococcus aureus. We know that the shapes of uh, microorganisms uh, can be spherical, rod shape, right? For spheres, we usually refer as cocci, cocci, and for the rod shape organism, we usually refer it as a bacilli right and staphylococcus aureus as you can see it has this this name coccus so it's spherical so let me draw the structure as a sphere as a spherical cell and the diameter of this cell is around one micrometer okay one micrometer here and the organism, the cells of this organism, they are grouped and they form clusters. So that's important to know. If you're trying to do gram staining of any sample and you see gram positive microorganisms, they are present in clusters, something like this, something that resembles grapes, right? So you're probably going to say it's Staphylococcus aureus or some other Staphylococcus uh, species, for example, Staphylococcus epidermidis. If you've seen my previous videos, I have discussed Staphylococcus aureus in detail and also I have discussed the Streptococcus pyogenes in detail. In this video, I will discuss just the shapes of, this, of these organisms. All right, so I'm going to write some points. Point number one is basically the, the shape is spherical, right? And it's gram positive. All, all of them, all, all microorganisms that I've included in this slide, they are gram positive. So it's obvious that they are gram positive. They are present in clusters. So that's important point, clusters. Okay, so clusters like grapes. So these three points, if you can remember, and obviously gram positive, let me just write it down so that you remember that these, uh, this specific organism, it's the shape of uh, the uh, this organism or shape of the cells of this organism is basically uh, spherical present in clusters and you can resemble it as a you know grapefruit and it's gram positive all right now let's jump on to the second organism here which is streptococcus pyogenes when we discuss streptococcus immediately one thing that comes in our mind is the spherical cells present in chains okay so that's important that when you l hear this specific word streptococcus that means the coccus spherical cells they are present in chains and chains these chains can be of variable length so i'm going to write here spherical so the cells are basically spherical and the size is again is close to one micrometer spherical and you have chains 
again you can resemble it as uh, you know uh, you can uh, resemble this specific structure maybe to a and specific warm shaped structure or it's uh, it's any jewelry that you're thinking right now anything right it's gram positive in uh, and they are present in short chains and long chains all right now let's discuss streptococcus pneumoniae streptococcus pneumoniae is as the name indicates it's spherical as you can see i have designed this um, this spherical structure right here but it's present in it is present in pairs so let me write down here spherical structure present in pairs okay and it's gram positive that's important so if i design the structure like this and that should resemble streptococcus pneumonia and the diameter is also around one micrometer of individual cell all right so you can see that you will get spherical cells in a different uh, you know organization for example for staphylococcus aureus you will get the spherical cells in clusters and for strep streptococcus pyogenes you will get spherical cells in chains and for streptococcus pneumonia you will get spherical cells in pairs so it's important mm, description for these organisms now let's move on to the enterococcus faecalis enterococcus faecalis is also spherical because of the name coccus in it the important point here that i want to mention is the bacteria is basically these cells they are arranged in short chains they are also arranged in small clusters like this and you will also see individual cells lying around so genus enterococcus have like one species which is faecalis another species which is facium so you will have different species but the arrangement or the organization of these coked cells it's very confusing in in that and especially in case of endococcus you will you, you may see uh, something like small cluster like three cells they are bound together or short chains or as i've already mentioned that you you can see cells in clusters as well and then you have this unique organism which is sarcinia ventriculi this organism forms very unique kind of uh, organization of the cell it forms uh, what it's called like bundles or packs and the packs will be let me draw first okay so the cells will be present something like this but you will have another pack of four cells attached and i just trying to draw this the cells that are behind these cells so i don't know if i can if i can do that i mean if, so you will have you have you will have basically like four cells forming a single plane and then you will have another four cells that will form the plane and they are attached together so they will basically form a pack something like this in this case you will have chains the cells will be distributed chains cells will be distributed in short chains clusters and then pairs in this you'll see pack and it's gram positive and it's also let me mention it gram positive they all are gram positive you need to remember that all right then bacillus cereus is gram positive rod shaped bacterium so if you see something like this under the microscope while you are doing gram positive staining uh, sorry gram staining and you'll see gram positive cells 
most likely this cell is the bacilli, bacillus. And bacillus series is one of the organisms is, you know, frequently present in soil. And the size is basically one, close to one micrometer in from the side. And then the length is two to three micrometer. Something like that. So, sorry about this structure. It doesn't look like it's uh, rod shaped, but uh, let me try it again. So something like this. So if you see something like this, that will indicate that you will have rod-shaped bacteria if they are gram-positive in your soil sample, most likely bacillus. And the bacillus series is typically uh, has this kind of structure. Now bacillus and thracis. So bacillus, as I already mentioned you, is the rod-shaped bacterium. And bacillus anthracis is unique. It forms these chains of these bacilli, and and the bacillus anthracis basically is a spore-forming organism, and the spores are present inside the cell. So you can do staining, and you will see the spores, and that will immediately indicate that you will have a bacilli that has the the spore forming ability and if you do the staining of bacillus anthracis you will see chains and you will see these spore shape uh, sorry the round structures present inside the cells right so basically they are uh, bacilli that that means they are a rod shaped organism and present in chains. Obviously, gram positive because we are discussing all the gram positive organisms. Now, Clostridium genus is an important genus because there are some really nasty organisms associated with this genus. For example, Clostridium tetani and Clostridium botulinum, they both are pathogenic organisms and this is responsible for tetanus and this is responsible for food poisoning. Now, what is the structure? In case of Clostridium tetani, the structure is basically you will have gram-positive bacilli and there will be a spore which is present right here. Oh, let me try it again. So telocentric spores, okay? So that's the typical feature of Clostridium tetani. Here. So you'll have gram-positive cells and the spore which is present at the end. Something like this. So you'll have gram-positive. Uh, let me rewrite it gram positive rods and spores and then you have clostridium botulinum now, this is important because that as i have already mentioned that this is uh, responsible for food poisoning and in this case the spore let me use another color in this case, spore will be slightly away from the terminal position. So subterminal, I can I can say it's subterminal. Okay, so something like this. So on the basis of the position of the spore, you can differentiate between Clostridium tetani and Clostridium botulinum. Here, so I'm going to write G positive, and it's bacilli, so it's rod shaped and spore. In this case, you have subterminal. Okay, that's important to remember. In this case, it's terminal. All right. So 
I think now you have uh, a basic idea of the shapes of different types of microorganism organisms. I have tried to discuss these shapes in detail and I have also written some points that might help you to remember the shapes of this uh, these uh, microorganism organisms. So I hope the video was helpful and I have tried my best to give you accurate information. You can read more about these organisms and what are the functions and what are the diseases associated or important uh, uses of these organisms um, uh, right so and you can make your own notes that might be helpful for you uh, for your exams or your project so uh, with that note i will just conclude this presentation and i will bring more videos on different areas of biology like bioinformatics microbiology genetics biochemistry and i'll try to explain every detail of that topic so if you like the video then please stay tuned to the channel and help me to promote my channel and my content so thank you and take care